In the summer of 2016, it felt like literally everyone was playing Pokemon Go, including some of the world's biggest celebrities. So today, let's take a look back at some of the most famous people who ever played Pokemon Go. Plenty of celebrities tweeted about Pokemon Go to farm engagement when it was the biggest thing on the planet, like this one from Stephen Colbert, but any one of his dozens of writers could have come up with that. Today we're focusing on people who actually played the game, whether it was just for that first wild week, or they stuck with it through the ups and downs that followed. We're gonna kick things off with Justin Bieber. Bieber wasn't just tweeting about Pokemon Go, he was literally out there in the streets with the rest of us playing it. I remember when this story first came out, I thought it was the funniest thing. Pokemon Go players ignore Justin Bieber as they rush to catch a Gyarados. People were so focused on their phones that they didn't even notice Justin Bieber was there playing Pokemon Go with them. Nick Jonas was on tour with Demi Lovato in the summer of 2016, and at one point he tweeted, Demi just seriously said out loud, there's no Pokemon here. Hashtag, this is out of hand. So I don't know if Nick Jonas was actually playing, but Demi Lovato definitely was, and it sounds like Nick was kind of annoyed about it. On the same day, his brother Joe Jonas tweeted, rumor has it Mewtwo is at Area 51. Road trip, anyone? This was like one of the biggest rumors that summer, that Mewtwo was hidden at Area 51. I wonder if anyone actually went looking for it. John Mayer went all in, buying $100 worth of Pokecoins and then posting about it on Instagram. I hadn't even bought a stack of coins at that point, and I was trying to make a career out of it. I was also broke when the game came out, so. Another John, John Boyega, admitted to playing Pokemon Go on set while filming for Star Wars. He's quoted as saying, I told everybody I got a Pikachu. I was the most popular kid on set for like a day. Dylan Sprouse, who's famous for living in a hotel, tweeted, gonna drown trying to catch a Poliwag, which is kind of a deep cut. Proves he definitely has some Pokemon knowledge. On July 10th, Soldier Boy posted an AR photo of a Pikachu sitting on his watch. Personally, I think an ice type would have made more sense, but... Pikachu is the most recognizable character in the entire world. Jimmy Fallon was feeling what all of us felt that summer when he tweeted, I'll trade you anything for all of my Zubats. Too many Zubats. I remember that. World famous DJ and memer Dylan Francis is quoted in an article as saying, the game is pretty amazing for how simple it is and the nostalgia I get from it is crazy. People can hate on the game as much as you want, but the fact of the matter is it's amazing that it's getting people to go out and explore new places. All I want now is PvP fighting, and I'll probably have no life anymore. Rip my music if that happens. Ha ha. Come back, Dylan. We have PvP now. Actors and musicians weren't the only ones buying into the hype. Here's a tweet from Rudy Gobert, who said, when you're just trying to watch a summer league game and a wild Spiro jumps in front of you. Accompanied by not an AR photo, but a screenshot of a Spiro on the court. In an interview at the 2016 ESPY Awards, Carl Anthony Towns admitted he was playing Pokemon Go and said, I played it coming here and I haven't taken my phone out to play it yet, but I'll be very upset if I missed a Pikachu around here. Maybe now that they're teammates, they can start playing together again. On July 12th, Vince McMahon tweeted an AR photo of a Ghastly saying, I don't care who you are, get out of my weight room. Is he like a bad person and I shouldn't have included him in this video? The godfather of vlogging, Casey Neistat, made a few videos about Pokemon Go during its viral success. And that was big for me because Casey was one of my favorite YouTubers and a huge inspiration when I was starting the channel. And he even kept including clips of him playing Pokemon Go for at least a week or two after the game first came out. Back when this channel was first getting started, I was actually working with my cousin, Dante Bosco, helping him film and edit for his channel. And of course, he was playing Pokemon Go along with me. I think it's been a long time since he's actually played the game, but for the first few months at least, he did like to open the game up when he traveled and catch a Pokemon as a souvenir. Chrissy Teigen was all in on Pokemon Go when it first launched, but I think she deleted all her tweets, so all I could find were these really old screenshots. But by July 11th, she tweeted, I'm over Pokemon. Please, let's pretend I never played and I never bought hundreds of pounds of incense. And that's about as long as the hype lasted for most people. But there were still plenty of celebrities who continued to play Pokemon Go even after the hype died down. Ariana Grande is a known Pokemon super fan. She even has an Eevee tattoo. She was so down to play the game that she was even out in disguise at Santa Monica Pier when it was the craziest place in LA to play the game. And she continued posting Pokemon Go screenshots on Instagram into August 
including when she hit level 20 on August 9th. And I was curious, so I went back and looked at where I was at that point, and I was only level 22 on August 9th, so she really wasn't that far behind me. When the game first came out, Steve Aoki tweeted, I have to walk through fields in the Netherlands to get this <laughs> weedle. But he continued to play the game at least well into November when he posted about catching a ditto, which isn't surprising considering he's known for his Pokemon card collection. Steve Aoki is definitely a Pokemon fan. I wonder if he'll come back to Pokemon Go when Alchemy gets added to the game. I remember this one being so funny when it first came out. The Norwegian Prime Minister was caught playing Pokemon Go in Parliament in October of 2016. She probably got to catch a ton of regionals with all her diplomatic travels. Bay Area rapper Guapdad4000 is a huge Pokemon fan and I'm pretty sure he still plays Pokemon Go. A couple years ago he even did a collab video with JT Gilly where they went out and played Pokemon Go together. In 2019, actor Colton Haynes was still playing the game, tweeting, The Pokemon Go shade is real. To clarify, I'm level 38 and have 70 shinies. Just need a lot of the Gen 1s. In 2019, Marvelous Mrs. Maisel actress Rachel Brosnahan went on Jimmy Fallon and talked about being a Pokemon Go master. I am a very high level Pokemaster. Are you I, really? I, I am. I'm a level 37. Does anyone know what that means? I do, yeah. You know? You know? I, I was, did I, you play? I stopped at level 8. And as a bonus, Jimmy dropped a little extra info, proving that he did actually play Pokemon Go. Yeah, lure. Sure, I'll buy a lure and I'll try it, whatever a lure is. And I'm like, that's great. Whatever. And then I went down. I was leaving my apartment building. My doorman goes, it was crazy last night, man. I don't know. All these people were here catching Pokemon outside the apartment. You did that. I lured, I lured strangers <laughs> to my apartment. It's like... What am I doing? I didn't know it was real. Also in 2019, Jenna Fisher, aka Pam from The Office, tweeted, hashtag ad, I think Skitty is officially my new buddy in Pokemon Go. I got super excited about it, thinking that she actually played Pokemon Go, but it turns out this was just the start of a massive ad campaign where Pokemon Go paid a bunch of celebrities to tweet about their buddies. The list of celebrities who got paid to tweet about it, but might not have actually ever played the game, includes Jenna Fisher, Justice Smith, Prince Royce, Billy Eichner, Zach Braff, Tyra Banks, Victoria Justice, Neo, and Kiki Palmer, who has since deleted the tweet. Um, I guess the terms of the contract have expired. Now going back to celebrities who actually played the game, Mark Hoppus from Blink-182 was very active with the game and tweeted about it a lot, including tweets about his legendary raids, lots of Groudon, still looking for shinies, and in December of 2020, he hit level 40, which means he definitely played the game a lot. Now in 2021, I got to work on a really cool ad campaign alongside the incredibly talented Jordan Fisher, and while we were on set, I asked him if he actually played Pokemon Go when it first came out. Now I could have easily found the answer on Twitter because on July 10th, he tweeted, trying to catch a war turtle and the server crashed. When do you ever see a wild war turtle? Never. But he also told me that he still does play the game, especially when he gets together with some of his streamer friends. Jordan, if you're watching, send me a gift. Now in that same campaign, my friend Megan, aka Strawberry17, teamed up with Olympic gold medalist Chloe Kim, and I figured if Jordan actually played, then maybe Chloe did. So with a little bit of digging, I found this quote from a 2016 interview where Chloe says, I'm killing it. I was in Oregon recently and we stayed in a really small town, spent the whole day walking around catching Pokemon because it was raining, so we couldn't do anything else. It was so fun. It was so fun. So there you go, a bunch of famous people who you may or may not know actually played Pokemon Go. Now, if there's any other celebrities that you know of who played Pokemon Go, drop them down in the comments so I can go try to be friends with them on Twitter. And if you haven't had enough of the Pokemon Go nostalgia, check out this video right here. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.